Well, we've reached the end of our show and we end with a question of the day. And today's question of the day is, do you condemn Hamas? I'm just joking. It's just a joke <laughs> because that seems to be on everyone's mind. If uh, you can't say anything, you, you cannot uh, criticize uh, the, the inhumanity and mm-hmm. the that's being inflicted unless you first uh, condemn Hamas, you know? So I, I think that's incredibly disingenuous and it doesn't take us anywhere. But let's go to the real question of the day, which I believe is, uh, is a very important question because um, it's in your neck of the woods. I speak also Nederlands, but I don't speak Nederlands today with you. So, but I will just ask you the over the mm-hmm. question of the day. So, but before I uh, show you the question of the day, let's take a little snap. Let's take a look back and, and listen to uh, what the news uh, reported about uh, what uh, Geert Wilder uh, mm-hmm. had to say, who is the leader of the Freedom Party uh, mm-hmm. in the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. The leader of Netherlands Freedom Party reportedly directed Muslims who believe the Quran is more essential than secular law to leave the nation. The leader of the Dutch Freedom Party, that is PVV, is widely expected to become the country's next prime minister, was heard saying as much in an unverified video. He reportedly said, and I quote, I have a message for all the Muslims in Netherlands who do not respect our freedom, our democracy and our core values, who find the rules of the Quran more important than our secular laws. He went on to quote a research by Professor Kumpan saying, there are many such individuals, quoting 7 lakh as a number. He then gave his message to them saying, that such individuals should get out, leave for an Islamic country. Then they can enjoy Islamic rules. Those are their rules, but not ours. He earlier wrote on social media site X, today, tomorrow, or the day after, the PVV will be part of our government, and I will be prime minister of this beautiful country. So, we don't have to play that again. So, um, it's a very uh, interesting time for, mm-hmm. for to 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 say that. And mind you, we're talking about a nation that still uh, celebrates a highly offensive character, Swarte Piet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I grew up with Swarte Piet. I'm from Suriname, mm-hmm. and I grew up with Swarte Piet. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, it's something uh, it, you know. There's actually argument about that. So I'm not totally surprised that uh, mm-hmm. uh, this type of uh, rhetoric and uh, really inhumane language. Mm-hmm. Being spoken, especially when we live in such a global society. So, yeah. the question of the day before we end our show mm-hmm. is uh, what you see on the, the screen. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the statement of uh, Heer Wilders? Yes. Uh, he's been making such statements for years now, and his rise and his uh, has been gradual. Uh, there have been polls indicating over the years that uh, he will end up becoming the largest party if an election was held and uh, this time around a, an election was held and he ended up becoming um, the largest party in the Netherlands. Um, this is a country that I've come to uh, to recognize as my home, to accept as my home. It took a lot of work. It was a lot of sacrifice. I had to learn a, a new language. I had mm-hmm. to struggle to prove myself every day and to gradually accept that this is my home. Mm-hmm. And then to have someone, uh, you know, who aspires to lead this country, saying that people uh, who uh, share a similar religion like mine, uh, who uh, have a history similar to mine, don't belong to this country. I mean, is 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 the most scary and the most dangerous thing, you know, that can happen to someone like me who's been, you know, aspiring all these years to belong to this place, you yeah. know, because I mean, uh, I was. It's, it's, it's scary. I mean, when I, I voted for years every year, and uh, so around eight o'clock, when I realized that this is what was going on, I was asking myself, but I fled walls. And yeah. I, I have come to this place thinking that this, you know, this was my home, you know, for someone to come to power who would then make me to feel very different, to feel insecure, 
you know i don't know i don't know how how to deal with this it's it's really uh, something that i'm still struggling to you know to internalize to deal with it you know the reality because it's a reality and it's a terrible terrible reality i mean it's something uh, I, I i mean it's, it's as if people are calling on themselves to lead a life you know uh, uh, that is uh, that is an authoritarian life you know yeah. i mean I've, i see you see the same current happening in your country in the us i mean people want to choose to give up their freedom you know to have someone who will take away their freedom you know i i i hope this does not happen here but it's it's a prospect that really really scares me you know i i i i hope i don't have to live you know through this i hope there are other solutions in the sense that you know that you know other parties will end up you know choosing you know forming a government you know and then and that and that a government with with this with will does but uh, i don't know i don't know i I'm, i mean i hope that's what happens to me yeah well it's certainly not helpful especially no. considering uh the state of world affairs it's it's, yeah. it's not a helpful it is not, it is not.